Rotating wind turbines, trucks and cars passing by on nearby I-10, and distant desert hills. This can only be the low desert of Southern California. It's Martin Luther King Day 2018, and I just happened to be in Palm Springs on that day and figured I would do a bit of holiday rail fanning while I was in the area. The action began within minutes of my arrival, with a small manifest being first to grace my camera. Seeing a wide cab GE on any train these days is quite normal. Seeing a pair of standard cab SD60s is not. This rail fanning adventure is already off to a great start. Helping to keep everything under control on the descent into the Salton Basin, GE AC45 CCTE number 7846 brings up the rear of this relatively short manifest. Within minutes, another eastbound came into view with what looked like to be a colorful consist on the front end. With a five-unit lasher presenting four different paint schemes from three different railroads, UP 8456 East rolls past the station with a manifest well in hand. As the lone DPU on the back of 8456 East rolled by, I heard a suspicious sound. The suspicious sound turned out to be a mixed freight clawing its way up grade towards the camera, with an SD70 ACE on the point that was absolutely screaming.
Now it's safe to say that I've been a rail fan for my entire life, and never have I heard a locomotive make the sound that the lead locomotive on this train was making. In fact, I half expected to see a turbocharger come flying out of the exhaust stack. I certainly hope the cab on that locomotive is well sealed, because I'm not sure I'd want to be a crew member listening to that noise for 12 hours straight. A pair of GEs take up the rear of the westbound manifest as it continues on its way to Colton. And in case you were wondering, once I stopped recording, I could still hear the lead locomotive howling away. In fact, I could still hear it even as this next train came by, a double stack train bound for Long Beach headed by an SD-70M. Of course, one of the fun parts of rail fanning is seeing foreign power, especially when it's leading, as is the case with this logistics train, led by three Norfolk Southern locomotives. Us Western foamers call these Norfolk Southern locomotives ponies, in reference to their prancing horse logo on the front.
By this time, the sun had pretty much set behind nearby Mount San Jacinto. Of course, that doesn't stop trains from running. Our next catch is a lone GE heading a loaded auto rat train. With a combined 8,700 horsepower on the head end, a mixed intermodal train is next to roll past the camera. With light quickly fading, there's just enough time to see one more train. This time, it's another logistics train making quick work of the hill as it charges past the camera.
As the swift moving logistics train continues on its journey west, so ends this day of rail fan. And what a day it was, certainly one for the history books. For now, I'm Train Track Trout. I'll see you trackside. Thanks for watching.